Hi, Katie here, and this is your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about Hyperloop technology and how diamonds could be a breakthrough for semiconductor technology. Hyperloop be the future of travel. Just this month, a sled propelled on a track reaching speeds of over 100 miles per hour. On May 11th, LA company Hyperloop One conducted its first test run of their Hyperloop technology just outside Las Vegas. Hyperloop One tested the sled on a magnetic track reaching speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour. Although this is a milestone for Hyperloop engineering, the test did not feature the signature tube technology proposed by Elon Musk in 2013. The goal for Hyperloop technology is to build a high-speed shuttle that will transport passengers from San Francisco to LA in just 30 minutes by the year 2020. So far, Hyperloop systems have been designed for magnetic tracks. A magnetic field keeps the pod levitating just above the track. The pods are powered by electric propulsion, allowing high energy efficiency and proposed speeds up to 750 miles per hour. Transportation pods will eventually be propelled through fully enclosed tubes designed to maintain an ultra-low pressure environment. This also allows the pod to overcome very little air resistance and reach maximum speeds. Hyperloop One is just one of the several companies attempting to create a Hyperloop technology system. Several non-commercial teams have submitted designs. MIT won a design contest in January and will receive funding from SpaceX to develop an on-test track. In total, 22 schools and other non-commercial organizations have earned funding and consideration from SpaceX. Of course, the challenges are plenty and the initial cost may prove a substantial hump with early estimates of $6 billion. Still, many believe the technology could be ready by the end of this decade. And diamonds could be a significant breakthrough for semiconductor technology. Acon Semiconductor demonstrated a 100 gigahertz diamond semiconductor. Their new prototype chip measures in the hundreds of nanometers, which is much larger than traditional semiconductors today. Using the design rules for large semiconductors allows for significant opportunity to shrink chips for better performance before reaching the single atom threshold silicon chips will face in the next decade. Akon chose the diamond for its unmatched ability to diffuse heat, perform as a semiconductor, and create smaller, more powerful electronics. The company discovered how to manufacture perfect diamonds with a methane gas process, which is much more affordable than traditional methods. The result, a lab-grown diamond that can eliminate 90% of the energy lost by silicon in a typical electronic component. Diamonds can run five times hotter than silicon and deliver one million times more electrical current. All of this efficiency hopes to achieve electronic devices that are much smaller and lighter while also saving energy. CEO Adam Kahn says that it's not just about making existing materials better, but also enabling the next generation of design. Akon Semiconductor guesses that diamond semiconductor technology will enable a new generation of the commercial, industrial, and consumer products. That is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.